Alrighty, hi everyone and welcome back. So, where we left off, we just finished up our second war against Assyria after taking both their capital and one of their major uh, science cities. You know, what we had left, this would have been pretty tough to take because the combat strength, but, you know, leaving that city in his control for now, that's fine. We can come back later with the better, uh, with the better units from our significantly higher science, and we'll take this city without losing all these Keshigs for really no reason. So, we're not abandoning invading Assyria, we're just taking a good win and delaying it for a bit because we need to build some if you're infrastructure the bank as well strange if we wait too long we'll fall behind and um then it'll just take way too long for our cities to build any units period so we'll send these units back so they can be flexible make this really good at attacking cities Can I get him out of here? No, looks like we're stuck here for a minute. We could start to explore the world too. I really don't know anything outside of our island right now. Knights and new governor. Uh, we're gonna stick to Merchant Republic. Oh wait, yep. Um, yeah, all good here, because we can't take suzerain of anyone interesting. Yeah, this will likely just be a lot of micromanagement. Making sure our empire gets big and strong. Because if we invest at this point in making all of our cities strong, we'll steam over anyone else later in the game because we just have so many cities from our two wars. Plus we have so much land we don't even have to fight for. That's really good. <sighs> we'll keep him here, just sort of centrally in the empire. Make his way over here. Yeah, everything's just going really smoothly right now. Oh, maybe I should have changed these, but I think they're all still correct. Yes. The only one we might swap out in the near future is maybe Gothic architecture, but I'm not sure we have the infrastructure for that. Oh, and we have Maui. All right, crabs, that's, that's honestly a worst case scenario resource, but that's fine. Honestly, we might have to invade him just to get rid of him bothering me on all the, these load screens. Looks like this city finally flipped. Not that it really makes a difference. The only thing this city is useful for is a really good campus. And with their continuing war, I don't think they're going to even bother with... Darn, do we have to rebuild this again? Uh, that's annoying. Now what do we need here? We definitely need more housing. But first, maybe... Ooh. Yeah, we're going to sacrifice that mound for a really good industrial zone. Chop this out. We do need a harbor. We need more harbors, I should say. We need to start getting a naval presence in the world. Yeah, we still need a lot more workers or builders here. Hmm. 
city needs a harbor as well. Okay, good. We only have to repair the one. The one broken uh, building. Turn this all into farmland. Uh, oh, good. Perfect. Tax collector. It's going to give us a nice gold boost. These units. We really don't have any any pressing matters for them. Oh, what is that? Okay. They've reached that tech. Alright, hopefully we get something... Ah, another crabs. How annoying. We might... Yeah, we probably should turn this into an industry. Because this city can be really good. It's going to have some nice fish. Oh, he wants to buy our strategics. Actually, it's not a terrible idea to sell it to him. We'll get our courser out of his territory and use the money to invest in our infrastructure. Which, I mean, you can see there's just so many unimproved tiles. That's just not acceptable for turn 93. We really gotta work on that now. Well, let's get a shipyard. Really, really want to build out that naval infrastructure. Um, right here. Like I said, stop. I should move in here. Um, <clears throat> we'll be able to turn this whole thing into farmland, which will help these cities grow immensely. Uh, we'll get some Cahokia mounds up in here. Uh, we'll send him here. Please don't give us crabs again. Yeah, we should turn this into just an overpowered tile. And that'll help it with, yeah, growth. Which is great, because there's a lot of production here. And we have a perfect commercial hub, harbor adjacency. Then we can work these two tiles as well. So that's nice. Oh darn, what did I do? He wants to buy... Yeah, that's fine. But like I said, we'll take the money. We're just going to use it to invest in our infrastructure, get more resources, get even more powerful. They won't pay us by all means. Um, we are trade probably more than anything, because we have a friendly relationship with a trade partner. But I really don't think we're going to have honestly any impact on this because we've been running negative diplomatic favor from all those wars for a while. Ah, into the Renaissance era, that's nice. Not all who won. Alright, cultural, that's interesting. Um Well, three starting pop isn't bad, but we'll just keep raking in money. Now let's see, we could use an industrial hub here. Um, yeah, we'll put that there. Because then we can put another aqueduct here and they'll get double the bonus. Mm. We'll start chopping this stuff down. Yeah, dam's a great way to just get some good housing and also stopping those annoying floods. Uh, eventually we're going to buy this tile. Might as well just work it right now. Yeah, Xanadu is going to become a really strong city very soon. Ooh, if there's losing loyalty. Interesting. 
We'll just monitor that closely. Alright, Maui, give us something a little better next turn. Actually, I should probably do these two. <clears throat> because I think I can already turn Amber. Yes, yeah, so I can already turn Amber into a industry. Or have I already done that somewhere? Spices, diamonds. Yeah, I don't think I've done that yet. Astronomy compels the sun. So we'll actually just want to send them over here. So, oh well, they already have an industry. Darn. Okay, never mind. I should have slapped them here. Oh well. Um, let's go with printing. We definitely want to get our districts up, but. Like I said, we do need production. Production, investing in production just almost always pays off in the end. The game can almost come down to who builds stuff the fastest. Because if you're getting all your infrastructure up quicker than everyone else, you're going to get your science up quicker, your culture up quicker, it just it snowballs. If you're taking forever to build new buildings, new units, new workers, new cities, then you really want to make sure you're investing in your infrastructure because it's clearly not up to the task if you're really struggling to get new stuff. I think we're going to buy a settler in Xanadu just because it has a huge pop. You must not I don't lose think it's really going to hurt it. And we're getting kind of close to the uh, housing limit. Yes, yeah, so he'll go right back next turn. Let's get that farm here finally. Alright, we can finally we'll pick up some easy air score. But also, finally start exploring on the high seas. Now you never got an aqueduct, but more importantly this city needs more builders, 